An expectation by the French that this conflict isn't going to end anytime soon. Well, certainly it's a signal that they think it may. Um, if they're talking about uh, military equipment and training, which will only bear fruit for Ukraine, uh, at, at least at the end of the year, if not later. And as you say, it's it's the older equipment. So really, Europe's at the point where they're, they're kind of scraping the barrel with old tanks, old planes. They've sent a lot of equipment uh, there already. Uh, they've sent missiles, obviously, also. But they're kind of really... Who's replenishing the stocks yeah. at the back end uh, for France, for Germany, uh, for countries in Eastern Europe and how quickly can that be done? They're quite clearly relying on some of their older equipment and sending that in because they don't really have very much else uh, to send to Ukraine and it takes time to train the pilots even on these older planes, the Western you know, aircraft takes time to train them to be comfortable with using some of this equipment um, and so that's really at least an acknowledgement, maybe not expectation but acknowledgement that it's possible the war will still be going at the end of this year. Um, we know that Russia's making a fresh push at the moment, they've been making making some inroads, particularly in the east, the northeast of Ukraine. Ukraine's been pushing back heavily on that, but things are not going particularly well on the ground. And so the question is, is this war just going to run and run for Vladimir Putin? Is he happy for it to keep running and running? Is it to his advantage that it does so? And is there any other way out for this war to come to a conclusion? What, what is, we see a series of meetings. Um, we saw this morning a bilateral between uh, the, the US Defence Secretary and the, the French Defence Minister. What's coming out of these meetings? What came out of the meeting yesterday as well? We got, you've got Zelensky, you've got Biden, you've got Macron. They're all meeting, obviously, with the D-Day celebrations, commemorations. What, what is coming out of these conversations? Do we know? Well, some of it's just the optics of, let's just make sure that Ukraine doesn't fall off the radar yeah. in the public consciousness. I mean, we've got the conflict in the Middle East, we've got the US election, we've got the UK election, we've got a lot of things going on. The war in Ukraine's been happening now for several years, and you can see naturally that, you know, the fight in a way for it to remain front of mind for people, for countries, for policymakers is there. And so the optics of Zelensky in Normandy with the US president talking to US veterans there, to talking with Macron, all of it is about just keeping it really front of mind yeah. for the public because you need the public support for the political support to come for France, Germany, the US and others to continue to push for that financial aid and that military aid to Ukraine.